makers. In this video we will see how we can generate PDF file in Django project using XHTML to PDF third parties package. We will save the PDF file with its own name and we will also pass dynamic data to the PDF. Before going further hit the subscribe button to join makers group and like the video. If you are here at list you have created Django project. So I will show you how you can generate PDF file format from HTML page in your Django project using XHTML to PDF library. If you do not install XHTML to PDF Python package go to terminal and run pip install XHTML to PDF command to install the package. My project name is PDF generator and it has one app which is called my app but you can work with your own project as long as the process is the same. You need to have a URL route for the view which is used to downloading the PDF file. The function based index view is used to return the, the index.html page on the home page as shown in the URL mapping. Whereas the class based generate PDF view is used to render the report.html file into downloadable PDF file format in slash PDF root. You can also make function based generate PDF view if you want. As you can see on the top part of the code render to PDF is imported from utils. So we also need to create utils.py file inside the app. The utils.py file is used to write our core function which is render to PDF to generate our PDF file. The index.html page is returned on the home page and it has a link to slash PDF. Whereas the report.html page is returned when you go to slash PDF route. You have to use inline or internal styling if you want to render a styled HTML to PDF file using XHTML2 PDF library. Let's run the server and see what we did so far. If we go to the home page we get index.html page with a link which says download PDF report. If we navigate to slash PDF or if we press the link we get the report.html page in form of downloadable PDF file format. We can download the PDF file with static data. Now let us change generate PDF class based view to forced download the PDF with its own name or to pass dynamic data onto the PDF. There are three class based view with the name generate PDF so you have to use one of the three and comment out the rest. The first generate PDF class based view will be used to generate a PDF file without custom name and dynamic data. The second generate PDF class based view is used to force download the, the PDF file with custom name. Whereas the last generate PDF class based view is used to force download the, the PDF file with custom name and dynamic data. You can pass dynamic data in forms of dictionary or else you can fetch from the database. As you can see we were able to generate a PDF file from the HTML page using three different class based view. You can use one of the three class based view to generate a suitable PDF file for your project. But at the time of recording this video the XHTML to PDF library is not able to render external files so you should have to use internal styling. You can also change the class based view into function based view easily. You can get the code on our GitHub link in the description. Thank you for your time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.